So I've got a video called Quest. Do you know I could do a video about social anxiety, how to overcome social anxiety? There's a special phrase for it. It's, um, it's called, um, uh, that's, that's, I think it's, it's a scientific term. Just fucking do it. Simple as that, JFDI. Just fucking do it, man. If you're feeling anxious, Embrace the anxiety, embrace the anxiety, embrace any emotion and transmutate it into another experience. What does that mean? Um, I used to have a, a fear of races, like bike races or running races. I'd be on the fucking start lines. Your mouth goes dry. You're just like, you know, you're, you're just like tripping out, man. You know, but, but it's not healthy. It, you use up too much energy use up too much emotional energy when it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you feel at the start of the race. And what matters is the last K, the last climb. It doesn't matter how you feel in the middle of the start or the start line. That doesn't matter if you feel good or bad. What matters is when the race actually starts. And it's not at the start line. Races are won or lost or whatever in the last few meters or the last minute or so. That's what really matters. So. I was like, I talked with Cadell Evans on this, and he's like, you can't waste emotions on the start line. You know, you got to save those emotions for at least halfway in the race, at least halfway in the race. So I'm like, well, how does that happen? You know, so it's just about switching off and relaxing. I'm just saying, okay, anxiety is a good, anxiety is a powerful emotion. You don't want to avoid anxiety. You just want to bring it on when you need to bring it on. So it's not about trying to avoid it or whatever. It's about using it when you need to use it, all right? It's like a video game. You don't drop your bomb when there's no spaceships on the screen. You carry that anxiety bomb with you, the A-bomb, and then when the, the, the beast at the end of the stage comes on, you just blast them with the A-bomb. So hold on to your anxiety. You know, put a little, visualize a little special spot on your body where you, or in your heart. You know, just feel it. Go, hey, this is good. Anxiety is good, but not now because I need to save it for later. I just practice with that. Simple as that. So social anxiety, people go, oh, I don't like walking down the street, everyone's looking at me, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> okay, cool. So feel that, but just store it up. I feel anxiety, okay, store it in, store it in. And then when it comes time to go training or do something important in life, boom, just fucking explode that shit everywhere. Yeah, that's how you do it, man. People, oh, no, no, I've, I've got to do therapy. I've got to go see a, 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 a person on to sit on the leather couch and pay him three hundred bucks an hour, and it's going to take me three weeks to do that or ten, ten therapy sessions. You can do that route as well if you want, or you can just harden the fuck up, bottle up the anxiety, and then push it into things in your life that need taken care of. Be it your girlfriend, your fitness, cleaning up your house, or building a social media presence. Whatever I don't know, whatever's important to you. Harness those emotions. The mind is the most powerful drug around. It can make us or break us. The mind's the most powerful steroid on the planet. It can work with you or can work against you. It's just a choice. You control your thoughts. So if you want to be ang anxious and flip out when it's not appropriate, that's your fucking choice. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. That's your fucking choice. Own it. But if you want to succeed in life, then it's about controlling your emotions versus letting your emotions control you. So you wanna harness anxiety, feel it, it's good to feel it, but only at appropriate times. And then let that emotion run, mate. Just fucking run, you know? That's what you wanna do. Let that adrenaline kick in and just fucking floor it. Full fucking gas. I still fucking have social anxiety. You never lose it. You don't wanna lose anxiety, because anxiety is like a powerful, powerful emotion. You don't wanna lose it, you don't wanna be like, I don't feel anything. You don't be like that. You want to feel shit in life. So I used to have the example of social anxiety. I remember just going to have a piss in the public toilet. You'd be standing there at the at the, the petrol off and you're busting to go to the toilet and you're like, you're about to pee and someone walks in, you're like, oh, you, you know, you get stage fright, you can't pee, you know, your blood is about to fucking explode, but you can't have a pee. And I'm, I had that for years. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? Do I have a neurological issue or a, you know, a urological issue? No, no, you just need to relax. Then relax. So relax and now I can pee anywhere. I can pee so freely I get pulled up by the cops for public urination on my bike out training. So another time would be I wanted a job in a shoe store, but I was like scared of talking to strange people. I would like approach the customer and be like, oh, oh. And, and, and the boss pulled me up on the first day and said, Harley, um, what's going on, mate? 
so I just, you know, like, I just feel like a bit anxious approaching strangers, you know. He's like, um, that's part of the fucking job. Like, if you can't do it, is that Figsy then? Is that Figsy then? Figsy? Figsy's a little anxious dog. It's hard to explain it with the dogs, but she's getting better. Figsy! Figsy, here. Oh, little Figsy. Say good day, Figs. She's a bit of camera shy. Figsy. <laughs> Figsy's not disapproval. See, it's like a little doggy, like, it's hard to explain with dogs because they don't really understand that much. But with you, a fucking human, you understand what I'm trying to say to you. Figsy still thinks me I'm like a bad attacker. So she just doesn't trust men that much, especially me. She has anxiety. It's hard for her to overcome it because she's a little, do little dog walnut brain. It's a bit tougher. But you're a human. You know, you can understand concepts fucking like that. Social anxiety is a choice. So I, I, the boss was saying, look, Harley, this is your work. You're selling shoes. You know about shoes, bro. You fuck. I know you. Sh you talk with me about shoes. You fucking know shoes, Harley. Share that passion with the customer. That's your job. Do your job, Harley. Good work. Keep it up. And he slapped me on the shoulder, and I, and I was just like, "All right, boom!" And I just fucking got it like that. I didn't need therapy sessions or counselling, or whatever. I was like, "Harm the fuck up. Do it. Have your goal. My goal was to serve the customer. It didn't matter how I felt." That's the goal. And then that made me feel good. So anxiety was like blocking that. It's no point feeling that. So when I was tired at work from serving so many customers all day, then I'll kick the anxiety in and use it as energy to go, yeah, there's fucking more sales, more customers, better service, better service. I'll put the, I would transmute the anxiety into like passion for better service, listen to the customer's needs better, pay better attention. Instead of just you know, being like wasting anxiety, use anxiety. It's a very, very powerful emotion. Another tip would be, another experience would be with a lot of guys have approach anxiety talking with strange women. You know, it's easy to talk to your mum or your sister or the person at work, but you might be looking for a date and you might see a girl on the street with similar interests to you. She's wearing a vegan shirt or she's attractive or she's whatever, she's funny or whatever. And you're like, oh, that's, a, that's a cool person. I'd like to get to know them better. And you walk up to me like, <laughs> you're fucking flipping out, mate. Well, you don't even approach him. You're like, oh, I'd love to approach him, but I'm just like nervous. I'm feeling like anxiety. That's good, mate. That's fucking good. But again, you want to transmutate it. So it would be, maybe what would help is have a lot, have a, an opening line you use. You know, hey, you know, whatever. Do you have the time? And then they look at the watch and say, no, no time for a date. Things like that, whatever. Just corny bullshit. Have fun with it. I've done plenty of videos of that one. But that's what you want to do is transmutate anxiety. It doesn't, anxiety serves you, but you have to use it at the right time. So if you're with a date, if I'm talking to guys here, if you're with a date, then you want to have energy for that date. You don't want to waste on like being a Butterfingers or whatever at the start. So relax and just turn the anxiety dial down and put it on standby and let it build up and build up for later on. So you don't want to avoid anxiety, you want to use it at the right time. And that comes with practice. Start fucking doing it today. <laughs> Super dog. We'll put your hand in there Fixie. so people can see. Fixie, come on. Come on, Fix. Come on, Fixie. You've got to get to know Harley sometime. Come on. It's only been two years, Fix. It's only been two years. Come on, Fix. Oh! <laughs> this is burning some energy off her. Yeah. Come on, Fix. Wait, wait. Good girl. Just relax. Just relax. Oh! <laughs> Come on, Fixie. Come on, Fixie. Oh. Come up here. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, now let's just do it seriously this time. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Relax, relax. Relax. Holly. Relax.